All right, next up in the Ultimate DIY Scrapbook Printable Template series that I'm doing here is the next size down, which is this size right here. And that is page 11, this one right here. And I've been getting asked a lot of questions, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about this paper line that I used for this one, which is the size that I just got finished completing, was this one. And that paper collection is this. It is from Prima, and it is called Epiphany. And I am not sure if it is still available or not. It is an A4 size paper pad, so I thought what I would do is I would use it for this, um, for this album, and I would also do this binding for this album. So I will show you how to do the Coptic stitch um, for this type of album. And I'll use this paper line, but it'll be this size. So, first thing I want to tell you about what to do with the A4. If you are not, um, if your normal size is not A4, if your normal printer size is not A4, if, you, if you're in America and you use 8.5 by 11, uh, size paper in your printer, then you're going to have to cut your paper down to eight and a quarter by 11. I made myself a little cheat sheet here so I wouldn't forget. So in order for your printer to print out on the A4 size paper, first thing you have to do is you have to change your printer paper size setting to A4. And then inside your paper tray, there should be some things that move and there'll be one for the A4. So make sure you move it over to that A4 size. Now, with my printer, it does not matter how long the paper is. It only matters how wide the paper is. So, um, I have to trim my paper, my 8.5 by 11, down to 8.25 by 11. So, it's just taking a quarter of an inch off. And that's probably not precise. It's probably not exact. But my printer takes it. So, you may want to do some trial and error. Um, I change my paper size setting on my printer to A4. And then, when I go to print... Um, mine will give me a, like a preview window of what, and you, if I can't see the whole image, then I always hit unclick, um, I unclick the fit picture to frame. Um, so you're just going to have to kind of play around with it to make sure. Um, if you do it with, whatever you do with the one, you do with the whole time you're working with the A4. So remember that. Um, so I have to unclick fit picture to frame uh, in order to get the whole page in and it's literally maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around shorter than it would be if I was printing at eight and a half by eleven. All right so I'm going to be printing uh, all of the main base pages on this black cardstock. This black cardstock is from Hobby Lobby and it's the Paper Studio and it's the heavyweight. Now the regular black cardstock is really soft and it's, it doesn't work as well but actually my favorite favorite black cardstock is from Michaels but I had bought some and it's, I bought a whole big ream of it and it's 110 pound and my printer said, uh, no, no, I'm not taking that paper. It's really thick and it's really stiff and it did not like it at all. So this is, um, just happened to be what I have and so it's from Hobby Lobby and it's Paper Studio and it's heavyweight, not their regular because their regular is too soft. So again, like, let me grab a piece that I've cut down already. Here's the regular eight and a half by 11. Oh, here, I've got one right here uh -huh, that I've printed on. And then when you print it out, or when you cut it down, you're just taking one-eighth of an inch off. Or not one-eighth, I'm sorry, one-quarter of an inch off. See right there? That's it. I'm not doing anything with the length. I'm just doing something with the side. So when it prints, it gets really close to the bottom. But... I haven't had any trouble with it not printing out any lines. So, all right, let's see. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I've made me some cheat sheets. I'm trying to be prepared again this time, so we'll see if it worked out. Um, and in order to do this type of binding, in order to do the stitch binding, we're gonna have to have kind of like a open pocket on both sides. So what you wanna do to make the main base, where's my paper? to make the main base of each. I'm going to make four base pages. I've already made three. So I'm going to show you how I make one here. So because there are other things on this page, I am going to go ahead and trim out those things too. Not completely, but the straight lines. And again, I'm not going to lie, 
the black cardstock is kind of hard to see. Oh goodness, I thought I turned my phone off. So I'm going to trim that bottom piece off. And then I'm going to trim this part off. And then I'm going to set this part aside. This is just a, like a label and a little flag label. I'm going to move that over here to the side. And then on one piece, you want to cut um, both of the long flaps off. So you see how I cut that flap off? I'm going to hang on to that because that's another piece that can be used. So you cut both long flaps off. Oh, you know, have to cut that. There's just like a not even an eighth of an inch right there, so I'm just going to leave it. And then on the other piece, you want to um, trim the whole entire thing out. So I'm just going to go ahead. Oh no, I'm not because I don't want to cut that. Do as I say, not as I do. Well, that doesn't always work with me. Sometimes I say the wrong things. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and trim these parts off here. I'm sure I can find something to do with them in the album. And then I'm going to trim this part off. And like I said, all of the flaps need to come off of this piece. I've got pencil writing. This does not print out on your thing. I'm just trying to stay <laughs> I'm trying to stay organized and focused for my videos. I'm trying to make them faster for me and for you. I don't know. All right, so you've got one piece with all the flaps trimmed off, and then you've got one piece that has the two short flaps on them. Let me move my paper trimmer. So then on the one that has the two flaps still on, you just want to tab those uh, flaps just a little bit so that they don't get caught up when you're sliding stuff in and out of there. And... I'm going to get my thick foam, my fun foam mat, a ruler, and my bone folder, and try to score this. The glare, I've got more lights on when I'm filming, and I have a hard time to see. What's going on right there? Nothing. <laughs> so you just want to score both of these. Oh, I don't want to get my head in the way. I have four more lights on than I would normally have in my studio while I'm filming. So it makes it a little bit more difficult, believe it or not, to see. <laughs> Sounds silly, but it's the truth. All right, so now I'm going to get your score tape out. This is quarter of an inch score tape by Sue Crane. Whoa. And you want to put it on both of the, the flaps. I know you have seen me do this like a hundred times. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the top to the bottom. Now you can use the glue trick right here, but um, using the glue stick, run the glue stick over the tape. But it's pretty easy to match these little corners up. And match it all the way down there. I usually don't mess that up too bad. Now watch, I'm going to mess it up because I said it out loud. All right, and it should match up just perfect. And it does. So now we have a an open-ended both sides tube. So this is the base of your page. So, like I, like I said, I've already... Um, I've already created most of them, so I'm just going to get some supplies together really quick, and then we'll get started on building the page. All right, the first page, I took another one of the page 11s, and I just cut it out, left all four flaps on, scored it, put score tape on it, and then I cut it to make two pockets. 
So I did this one in the last, I did this type of page in the last album. Um, pretty simple, but what it gives you is two uh, pockets that are stacked on top of each other. And so I'm going to go ahead and tack that bottom flap to the side flaps and remove the backing off the score tape. And then I'm just going to line it up with the bottom corner here and do the best I can. And since it is the same page as I made the base page out of, it should fit perfectly. So there's part of the pocket and then here's the second half. So the first page I'm keeping kind of simple because it's going to be right up next to the cover. So I didn't want to put too much bulk on that first uh, front page there. Um, a nice thing about using black cardstock, I mean the bad thing about using black cardstock is it's a little harder to cut it out. The nice thing is you don't have to do a whole lot of inking um, on the black cardstock. So that, that's kind of cool. That kind of saves you a step. I don't know if it saves you a step or not because you're spending a little more time cutting your paper out. So now you got two pockets. So that's going to be our front page. So here's the spine and then here's where an insert's going to go into and then we're going to flip it over and do this back well, side. If I would have read my, my little pencil notes there. Um, I'm just going to leave this plain because I'm going to put some flowers on here because the next page has got a lot of flippy flappies going on. So here's the first page and then I'm going to mat this side. Okay and then the next set of pages let me remove the back side of the pages. Yes, I'm trying to be prepared here. I don't want to get myself confused. I want to remember that I want to put magnets on here, so I'll just have to leave that there to close it up. So what I've done is this is page 15, so I've printed off a couple pages of 15. Here's another page 11 and then here's another page 11 and then here's the main base. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to make this a tall pocket. So let me get my paper trimmer out real quick. My Fiskars Precision Rotary Paper Trimmer. And then let's see, I'm going to uh, make it four and three fourths, maybe. Mm, four and a half, maybe. Make it four and a half. Let's make it four and a half. So I'm going to use this for something else. I don't know what yet, but I'll find a use. So then this one, I'm going to tab my corners. Where'd my there we go? Give me something. And then I'm going to tack the bottom piece down. I don't know how many, do I need to keep telling y'all that or can I like skip over it? Y'all let me know in the comments below. Okay, so this is going to be, this pocket is going on to the main base page in the bottom. Kind of just like what I just did. It should fit perfectly, and it does. Well, there's a little corner, whatever. So there's a pocket, and then I took this page 11, and I cut all the flaps off, and then I have another piece that I've got in my, my stash over here that I'm going to hopefully use at some point. And I put score tape on it, and I'm going to make it a top folding flap right here. Try not to get my head in the way. It's kind of hard. Top folding or a fold up flap. Does that make sense? Top folding, fold up. Is it the same? So now I've got a fold up flap. I've got a pocket. And then I am going to put a flap on this side like this and a flap on this side like that. 
so it'll have a flap, a flap, a flap, a pocket. <laughs> Alright, so I've already put score tape on it, and this time I probably i am going to use my glue stick trick that one of my subscribers showed me, or told me about. And so what I want to do is, I'm going to put one on each side. So this happens to be the outer side where the insert's going into. So you just want to be careful, don't go over the score. See that glue helped me out right there. Oh, since I can't get my head over top of it, <laughs> it's easier when you can get your head in there, in the way. Okay. Just want to kind of line it up as best you can without going over that score mark. And then hope that you got it. Ah, oh, I got it. Yeah. It's just a reminder. I want to put a magnet. I want a magnet to hold everything down. All right. Same thing on this side. It's going to take more than one magnet, though, isn't it? Okay. And then this is the spine side. It's open. Same thing. You just want to put it in there. Don't go over that score mark. Keep it lined up. That should be, should be almost perfect. Almost. There we go. So now we got a flap, a flap, a flap, and a pocket. So, how am I going to do my magnets? Let's see. Let me grab them, and I'll be right back. Okay. First thing. I know I showed you this in the last video, but these are the magnets I use. They are basic gray. They are magnet discs, and then it says small magnets. There's 20 in a package, and it doesn't have, like, a dimension or anything on here. But when you go to look for them in this you know, online or in the store or something, and it will say something. Just You just want to make sure you get the small disc. Um, these are the best. And I got mine at Joann's, um, but you can find them in lots of places. But just look for them when they're on sale because they're kind of pricey. All right, one thing's for sure that I know that, well, I'm definitely going to have a magnet on one of these flaps right here. And I'm thinking it's going to go uh, right about here, maybe, here. I'm just guessing. Can you tell? Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to put a posty note on here, and I'm going to add another magnet to it. And then... Well, I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of there and stick it on there. And I'm going to squish it down. Push. Okay. Sweet. Oh, I better leave that posting out there. Huh. All right, so then the next thing is I want to add one. Now, how far back can I go here? Oh, that'll, that'll work. Okay. So the best thing for me to do here... Wait a minute, there's going to be a few more layers. So I should probably... I should probably do one back here. Okay. So let me put a glue dot on this one that's going to be attached to that side. Then I'm just going to lay this down and then let it jump up there and grab. Okay, so now I've got one, two, three. And then I think I'm gonna need one down here. I know it seems like a lot of magnets, but there's gonna be a lot of mats and stuff and it's like a lot of flippy floppies. So. Oh, it jumped out of the way. I got the wrong one, that's why. That's why I always test it out, because you never know which one's going to... Okay. 
So what side did it pick? It picked that one. Okay, I'm going to stick a glue dot on this one. Well, my fingernails aren't letting me hold on to it. Oh. All right, let me do it again. So this time I am going to, I'm going to put a post nut right here. I'm going to let it grab onto there. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to close it. So the idea here is that, oh, so it closes all the way up and it's held tight. So no matter what I put on there, it should hold pretty stinking good. Yep, 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 yep. I need one, of, yep. All right, so there's that page. I'm not gonna let my magnets go too far. I've just been having so much fun with my magnets. It's ridiculous. All right, let me grab the back side of this. Now shall do Okay, so for the back side, I'm gonna do a pocket and a flap. So I think um, this is another page 11. I have me a little post-it note. I'm gonna do kind of like a mirror on the next page over. But I'm trying to figure out if I want to make the pockets lengthwise or if I want to make them widthwise. Widthwise. I don't know if that made sense. I guess it doesn't have to be exact. I wonder if I could fold it like this. No, I've already. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's measure, shall we? Okay, so it's about two and a half and a smidge. <laughs> that's not going to be right, but that's what we're going with. Two and a half and a smidge. Two and three fourths. No, that's not right. Just whatever. It's not that crucial. I'm thinking, yes, that's what I'm going to do. So now i got two pockets. One's going to go on this page that we're working on right now, and then the next one, this one's going to go on the next page. Alright, let me move this. There's very little space right here under the tripod, but my paper trimmer slides in there pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and tab this corner and this corner. And again, I'm going to tack the bottom down. Okay, so what I'm going to do... This is page 29. There's two. There's a top and a bottom. There's two of them. And I cut the two short flaps off and I just left the one long. So I'm going to have a flap this way, like this, and then I'm going to have a pocket. So again, this is page 29. So first I'm going to attach the pocket. I keep getting these little corner buggers. I'm not sure if that's the right way to say that. So I'm going to flip this around because I want the pocket to be on, yes, on the spine side. And then I want the flap, which I've already taped. I'm going to take that backing off. And I want the flap to be on this open side. Now I'm going to try to, I better put some glue on there. I want them to kind of match. Oh, I got a little carried away. So I'm going to try to do some centering here. Maybe just a little. You know what, if it's off, it's off. It's not going to hurt nobody. So then there's this page, so it opens up like this, and then there's a pocket right there. So we've got this where it's got a flap, a flap, a flap, and a pocket, which is cool. Whoops. I don't guess it matters which way you fold it, and you flip it, it's got a flap, and then it's got a pocket. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so then the next page is going to be the mirror image of that which is right here in a second. Hang on. So the same pocket. Here's a base page. 
And then there's the other side of the flap. There's the other side of this. So it goes like that. All right, let me do the same thing here. There's still glitter on my workspace here from working on my mom's scrapbook. That's something else. All right, there's the pocket. And then I've already got the tape on here, so I'm just going to remove the backing. Glue stick it. Glue stick. And this is just Hobby Lobby Paper Studio glue stick. Nothing fancy. All right, I'm going to try to center it like I did the other one. Mm, yep, right there. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to go. Just have to do it. And hope you did it the right way. So then these two pieces will be they'll be next to each other. So they'll open up like this and then they'll both have a pocket. Like that. Alright, so then the back side of this, I'm going to I'm going to ha have a belly band. Just a simple belly band, and then this clasp envelope is going to be the insert that goes inside and then here's the two inserts that go inside there so basically it's kind of simple I've already I haven't glued anything to dig together because I'm going to mat everything but this is page 21 the clasp envelope is page 21 and then the inserts that for the clasp clasp envelope is on page 23 now remember everything's printed out in A4 size so you have to remember that um, you can't print out on a regular size and expect it to fit your base pages if you've printed them out in A4 size. So this one, this belly band is on page 15, which is with the flaps, um, the flap, the flappity flap. These flaps right here, these two flaps. So page 15 has all these belly bands on it, and so here is one of them. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the flaps on because you don't have to if you want a tighter belly band, but I'm thinking that that um, clasp envelope <laughs> might be a little thick. So I'm going to put this up a little higher because I'm going to use that trick that Debbie showed in one of her videos of putting something down low to keep it from falling out because I really thought that was a cool idea. So I put that belly band up higher. I hope it's not crooked. It probably is. Oh well. And so in order to not lose these. I'm going to go ahead and stick these in the belly band. Just like that. So that's that page. Sort of. Almost done. And then I'm going to put something down here to hold it from falling. Down here to hold it from falling. Alright, so then the next page. So this is going pretty quick, isn't it? It's because I had all my stuff together. Let me grab it and I'll be right back. Okay, so this next page is, I'm going to use this um, banner flag envelope. It's page 32. Um, and the way I'm going to use it, I'm not going to put it together yet, but the way I'm going to use it is I'm going to attach it down to the bottom here like this. And then I'm going to use magnets to hold it so that it doesn't flop around. So all I did was add the score tape to the bottom and instead of it folding this way and closing up like normal I left that part out and I'm gonna have to glue that part down um, matter of fact I wonder if I should go ahead and glue it together you know what I think I'm gonna uh -huh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead there's no reason to keep it open I don't think and if, if there is well I'm just using Fabri-Tac from Beacon right now. I could use my score tape if I wanted to. I could use any glue. I could use a tape runner. You know, you, you just have to use what works best in your area. Oh, you know what I should have done first? Oh. I'm going to glue this bottom a little bit together. Closed. I should have put glue on there first because that didn't do very good. Okay, so now I'm going to attach it to the bottom of this page here. I am going to try to center it. <laughs> I love it when I say that. I'm going to try. I almost never get it correct. 
Oh, I think I did a pretty good job. All right. All right, so I'm going to put a magnet here to close this, and then I'm going to have a magnet back here to keep it close to the um, base page. So I know for sure, for sure, that I'm going to need one, where my glue dots go, on the flap itself, on the envelope flap. How much space do I got? Plenty of space. So I'm going to stick that right there. I said I got plenty of space, but I probably don't. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm going to get a post you note. <laughs> And I'm going to stick this to the post you know. I'm not sure which way it's going to stick. There we go. Because I'm wondering if I need one out here or if I need one inside there. I bet you that's why I didn't glue it to begin with. Well, that's all right. You just kind of go with it. <laughs> okay, come back. Now it won't quit sticking to me. Quit it! So I'm going to stick that down there. So that'll keep that closed. Now I need a magnet underneath here. So I'm just going to... Oh, perfect. Perfecto. So I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of that. And I'm going to let it find it again. And just going to close it. Yep. That's perfect. I love it. That's so awesome. Magnets make me happy. Hey, it's a good thing I bought several packs, didn't <laughs> isn't it? I keep going through them like crazy. All right, so let's see. The back side of this one is, um, let's see. What have I got here? I've got all kinds of stuff. Don't know what's going on. Oh, I know. <laughs> I think I know. Hold on, let me figure it out. And I'll be right back. If I can find my little Motsky. All right, I think I figured it out. <laughs> oh, that's my, my oldest dog. This is uh, page 11, part of page 11. She's so old, and, and her name is Sadie, and we call her Wheezy <laughs> right now. She's like 107 in doggy years or something, but she's, she's a little toy poodle, and she's just as sweet as she can be. Okay. So this is just a half of page 11, or part of page 11. I'm thinking another part of it is in another page. I can't remember. I don't know. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, this is the, this is the outside, this is the spine. So I'm gonna put this half pocket right here. Just like that. And then both of these were on page 15 with the flaps, the two flaps that I did overlapping each other. So I thought it would be fun to use those as two flaps here. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off both, put glue stick on both, because I'm gonna have to try to eyeball, because I want them to flap over Trying to have equal space. We'll see how that works out. So I'm thinking maybe right there. And then maybe right there. Close enough. Yup, awesome. 
So I'm trying not to waste, you know, a lot of the stuff. So these these were two smaller flaps. Uh oh, my glue stick a little carried away. There's a pocket. So where are we at here? Oh, this is the spine side. So these two flaps. There's a pocket, and then I wanted to do another pocket or another flap with a pocket. So let's do the flap first. So this is just page 11 where I cut off three um, of the flaps. I'm going to remove the backing here. I'm going to flip this around. And I need to be a little bit more generous with my space because I've got that pocket that... Let me do my glue stick trick. It's now my glue stick trick. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. <laughs> it's not mine. Someone told me about it. All right, so I need to leave a little bit more space so that I can fold it over. Okay. Well, yeah, easier said than done. Goodness gracious, maybe I should have done this first. Oh, wait a minute. Did I get it? Did I get it? Um, mostly. <laughs> Good enough. Okay, so then there's like a whole flap there. And then I wanted to put maybe a pocket, but I can't decide if I want my pocket to be out here. I think my pocket should be on the outside. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm going to do. This is just another part of page 11. Um, I've kind of lost track where all the parts went. I don't know if I've used them all or if they're in my little stash over there. You know, I've got a um, plastic sleeve with all my extras so I don't lose them. Come on. Mm, yeah, this is where I want my pocket to be. So I'm going to line it up at the corner there. Just like that. So now I have a pocket here. A flap. A flap, a flap, a pocket. Yeah. So now the question is, do I put a magnet somewhere? Do I do I magnetize it to keep it all closed? Hmm. Let me think about it. Yep, okay. I've decided I'm going to magnetize. Magnetizing. Alright, so I had to open up a whole other pack, which is fine. It's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a glue dot behind whoa, two of them and I'm going to stick them on this flap. Not too close to the edge, Jim. Jeez. too close to that other edge either. Okay. I'm going to stick them on the flap right there. Then I'm going to put posty notes on each one. Because once you get you some of these magnets and you see how strong they are, they're extremely difficult to get apart. I mean, it takes some doing and it can get kind of frustrating. At least it does for me anyway. Okay, and then I'm going to glue dot this side, stick back down, glue dot, stick back down, and I'm going to close them both. Okay, like that. Then, wait a minute, which ones those are negative? I'm going to, I know this seems like crazy, crazy, crazy use, using up me some magnets, but they're fun. I've been having fun with them. Okay, so then I'm going to put a glue dot on the back side of those. 
you can take that paper backing off, but since I am matting everything, I'm not really worried about it. So then I'm going to close that. So now should it should hold everything closed. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Yahoo. Okay, I think that was the last page.